<laughs> um, so this one is called Within the Lonely Hours. It's close to 2 a.m. when I feel your fingers peeling away my defenses like the skin of a ripe mandarin. I'm surprisingly difficult to peel, but a treasure once undone. I don't ask for your touch, but it comes when I'm my weakest and unsuspected. The pressure on my hip reminds me of that time we were at Macy's. I could walk on my own, but you just couldn't keep your hands off me. There is that one time we went to that desert spot in Koreatown. Even though you poked holes at my inclination for sweets, I saw the pleasure you gained from feeding me. The notification reminds me that these sensations are all in my head. I was moving through just through life just fine, but somehow you managed to sneak back in. Why do you play these games? Just when I think I'm over you, standing on my own feet, you manage to creep back into me without actually wanting me. I know this because my current status is a result of your decision. You didn't choose me. But when the sun is set and stillness settles over the night, you come through my window with a flood of memories, pushing me to the edge of a nostalgic climax, only to pull away and vanish. Where do ghosts go after their hauntings? Do they return to some kind of ghost um, do they return to some ghost kingdom in the sky, or do they stay nearby, waiting for the day when we move on? It's close to 4 a.m. when I feel your fingers peeling away. I want to touch myself, but what's the use when what I really want is you? Out of habit, I grab my phone and search for a new idol to worship and escape. Minutes drag on without a bite on my line. When a proposition does present itself, I freeze. After our time together and the future I imagine for us, I'm scared by the thought of letting another man see me naked in all my forms. So I delete my profile for the 30th time and wish I could cry myself to sleep, but I can still feel your ghost lingering in the corner of my bedroom, watching.